Hi, in this video we will learn how to create a custom view with animation and render that in a layout. I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started. If you want to master Android apps and games development, then click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open Android Studio and create a new project. As you can see, all the images have the same width and height, 70 by 57. I will copy these images and paste inside drawable folder. I will change this constant layout to linear layout. I will change the gravity to center. Remove the text view and add a scroll view. Add a custom view inside scroll view. Just put your package name, put a dot and the custom view class name. We are going to define this custom view class soon. Create the class myView that extends view. Click the red squiggly, press Alt Enter and select the second constructor from the list. Create a bitmap array of 8 elements to hold the 8 barred bitmaps. Declare few more variables related to the animation. Get the screen width and screen height. Instantiate the handler. Instantiate runnable. Inside run method, we simply call invalidate method. Android then calls on draw method for us and the view is redrawn. Let's quickly initialize the BART bitmap array. Initialize the BART width and BART height. Override the onDraw method. Increment BART frame each time onDraw is called. When BART frame becomes 8, reinitialize BART frame to 0 to start over the animation. Next, Draw the part on canvas.
Finally, call post delete method on handler, which schedules runnable to be executed after some delay update underscore milis. So we had to instantiate a runnable object and implement the run method in it. Inside run, we simply called invalidate. Android then called on draw method for us and the view was redrawn. In this way, an infinite game loop is created and the frame by frame animation keeps on running until we close the app. Just to make sure, activity underscore main dot xml is used to set our content on the screen. Run the app. Alright, as expected. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.